You know how fellas go crazy for the new girl? What's up YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with a video and I'm gonna be doing P Valley today, the new show on stars. I watched the premiere for this show. So if you guys have watched it, comment your theories, predictions, and everything else down below in the comment section. If you're a fan of this show, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe, turn on those post notifications so you can always see when I'm dropping some content so you never miss any P Valley news. Now I'm going to do a little review on the first episode. This first episode was called Perpetrating. And this was the premiere to P-Valley. And we're just going to talk about it. I'm going to tell y'all what I liked about the episode. Um, I definitely recommend it if you guys haven't seen the show. Um, this new show on Stars is definitely worth the watch. Stars has been promoting it for a while. And that's the only place I've ever seen it being advertised on was Stars. So when it dropped... The other night, I ended up watching it right away when it got on Stars at midnight because I didn't have nothing else to do. I had no other shows to watch, so I ended up watching it. Now, the show took place in a strip club that was called The Pink, and it's a, a strip club in Mississippi, and it was full of very interesting characters. And this is pretty much where most of the first episode took place. Now, when it first starts, a woman um, whose name is Autumn Knight on the show She's played by Alarica Johnson. Um, she stands in a flooded neighborhood and grabs a suitcase as it floats by. The woman's bruised and bloody face makes it seem like she's been in a fight. We're wondering what's going on. When she opens the case, she finds designer clothes, shoes, and a wallet that contains the driver's license of someone named Lakeisha Savage. Now, she takes the luggage and boards a bus but stays behind at one stop where she cuts her hair and changes her entire look in the gas station's bathroom. The next thing we know, she's showing up at the pink. And this is the strip club from the entire episode, a.k.a. the finest shake joint in all of Pea Valley for an amateur night. She went for an amateur night. It was pretty much like a booty battle. They had to get up there and the best woman won. Now, the winner, whoever won, got awarded some money. So she wanted to try to make some money because she, she was just going through some hardships and she's new into this town, so she just wanted to make some extra cash. Now, Autumn doesn't fit in with the others that have shown up to compete. Now, a character by the name of Uncle Clifford, he's the owner of the strip club. Um, he asked for her name, and she clearly comes up with something on the fly. Real quick, she says Autumn Knight. Obviously, that's not a real name, but that's what we're going to call her because that's technically her stripper name. So Autumn ends up winning the contest, the amateur night, and she asks to work there full time. She quickly draws the attention of one of the workers there, um, pretty much the alpha female of the pink. Her name is Mercedes. And in this episode, Mercedes was shaking that ass on the pole like I'd never seen. She was doing all kinds of tricks. She was doing splits. She was doing all types of shit. I'd never seen no shit like this before in my life. Even when I went to a real strip club before in real life, I'd never seen no shit like this. She was really up there twerking it. She was moving it. Now, we see flashes of Autumn's memory, and it seems to indicate that she was in an abusive relationship and that her abuser might have died from a gunshot inflicted during one of their arguments so she also may have had a young daughter out there somewhere we just don't know yet now uncle clifford is having a lot of financial difficulty it seems that uh, mercedes mother is a pastor who is highly disappointed in her daughter's decisions she is not satisfied with her daughter's profession at all she doesn't like what she does because she's a woman of god now there's another dancer named Keyshawn, a.k.a. Miss Mississippi, and she has a new baby and also a partner who hits her. And if you guys don't remember who this chick is, she was on Power. She was smashing Diego, if you guys remember, in one scene, Diego Jimenez. And remember, she, uh, Diego let Dre smash her in the bathroom. I'm pretty sure that's who this chick is, Miss Mississippi. Now, the next night, Mercedes tells Uncle Clifford that she's planning to retire after seven years at the club. 
That same evening, um, a rapper named Little Murder comes in. Him and his crew roll up into the pink and they wind up in the VIP room with Mercedes and Autumn because they're telling them, like, look, we'll give you guys 2000 a piece, two bands a piece. So, you know, they hop on that quick because they need that money. And some of the guys get real aggressive and Mercedes tells Little Murder she doesn't like his music and eventually a bouncer has to break things up. And what's crazy is it turns out Little Murder actually likes guys and he's more into Uncle Clifford than anything. So they spend some time alone in a back room and then Uncle Clifford tries to get Mercedes to dance to one of the rapper's songs. She was not feeling that at all because she told him straight up she didn't like his music and then the fact that Uncle Clifford tried to get one of his tracks played in the club, she was not feeling that at all. Now speaking of Mercedes, this is what I was talking about earlier in this video. Um, when she got on the stage, her performance is crazy. At one point she's twerking with her feet on the ceiling. And the camera like really went in slow motion at one point because they were trying to show you how good this chick actually is at doing her job. You can tell she's got a ton of passion and possibly even more talent. And her mother shows up at the club that night and starts calling her a hoe and a thot and all types of stuff. It affects her greatly. She feels some type of way about it and she gives her mother some cash. Meanwhile, Autumn Knight is all shaken up and she runs outside because she keeps thinking about memories of what happened to her. And I'm pretty sure we're going to find out what happened to her in the future episodes. But she rushes outside to get some fresh air and she runs into a man with a camera. He explains that his name is Andre and he's just shooting some film for a real estate client. Um, she doesn't really believe him and then she asks him pretty much to show her the camera. Now they flirt a little bit and at the end of the conversation she reveals that her real name is Haley. So instead of calling her Autumn Knight we can actually call her Haley. But I still might call her Autumn. I don't know yet. Now Andre is still parked outside the next morning when she gets ready to go home and he's literally taking pictures of her nonstop and I don't know what he really wants. I don't know if he's a private investigator. I don't know who this dude really is, but that's pretty much the end of the episode and that's all that happened in this first episode. I thought it was a solid first episode. You know, like I said, the majority of the episode was inside the strip club, the pink, but um, I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of different things in future episodes. We're going to see a lot of stuff happening because this is the dirty South. This is in Mississippi. We're going to see a lot of gun violence. We're going to see a lot of uh, guys abusing these chicks. We're going to see a lot of things happening in the strip club and outside of the strip club. So we're going to see what happens in the dirty South because I've never been down there, but I heard stories of what it's like. So we're going to get a feel of what it's like to live down there. From watching this show now if you guys haven't watched this show i highly recommend it it kept me entertained and it didn't have me bored at all there's some shows that i watch sometimes and like certain parts throughout the episode it'll have me real bored but i was engaged this entire episode and like i said if you haven't watched it i highly recommend you go to stars and watch this first episode and it's going to be coming on every sunday so yeah, man, that's the first episode and I can't wait for the next episode. I'm interested to see where they're going to take Autumn's character. I want to see a little bit of, of her backstory. I want to see what happened with her boyfriend, her last relationship. And I want to know about her daughter and I want to know a whole bunch of things about Autumn. But yeah, this was a pretty solid episode. And, it, and so far, this is a really good show. So you guys should definitely go check it out. I'll be continuing to bring you guys more P-Valley content in the future. If you guys want to donate to the channel to help support the channel, I got links in the description to do so. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. I'm going to get out of here, y'all. It's your boy Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.